finish with you coming back every four minutes. Come on, Aiden, go! I keep telling everyone we should be in the You're not going to shout at the No way. This you have done it. I'm using it for irrigation. I think you need to play a game. They sure like moisture. We can afford it. What will we do, do you next year? How he came to us? Yeah. Maybe a fish bar. Poor fellow. I felt sorry for him. He was tired. How that? He could have killed us. I didn't have one of them. Everything started to shrivel. I'm not doing that much better. <laughs> I tell you, Urban, I told you. <laughs> Been waiting years for this. We've got a winner. The Andy challenge has been conquered. Way to go, Aiden. All right, all right. Don't get so excited. You're ugly when you gloat, you know that? So what's the deal with this flag? <laughs> it's a pair of Carl's old undies. You put Teresa and Benny's life at stake for some old underwear? 
this was more about the bet itself, but the Andes are symbolic. There is a great story behind them, too. No one remembers when exactly, but long ago, a wild wind blew Carl's laundry off his line, and it got stuck on the roof. Carl wanted to mount some big mission to rescue his clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, everyone refused, of course. No one could climb that high. Off and on, a good wind would sometimes bring down a sock, maybe a shirt. But Carl's undies stuck there, flying proud. Urban bet me that I would never find someone who could fetch them for us. <laughs> but I did! <laughs> So you'll cancel Teresa and Benny's debt now? Like it never existed. And you, my new friend, you saved the day. Take this with my thanks. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. 